Hey, welcome everybody to the Salty Yak Tailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about using Google Earth to find kayak launch spots, which is uh, pretty relevant in today's uh, what's going on in the crazy world today. So, uh, going to start off with just a couple of, a, a thing, of websites that give you kind of ideas of where to start looking. So, this is the paddling go paddling website paddling.com and this is texas and as we zoom in here you'll see it gives you uh, different kayak launch spots you can click on them and it'll give you some locations to go and look and this is going to come in important in a minute when we start looking at these on google earth so it just gives you an idea of where you can launch your kayak and uh, this is not an, an exhaustive list by any means, but it gives you an idea of where to start going. Now, there's another website. This one right here, this is actually off of Google, but it's the Tail Tail Signs and Launch Points. And this is, these are from Sargent to Sabine. And when you look at here and you zoom in, uh, where all these little fish heads are, are so, supposed kayak launch spots. Now some of these you've got to kind of look at on Google Earth and figure out exactly where they are. Some of them are boat ramps, some of them are, are dedicated kayak launches, and some of them are some just people put up here like. I know this one right here at Tiki Island is a boat ramp. Um, been there and launched kayaks to fish Tiki Island before. So uh, the Go Paddling app and the Telltale, Telltale Signs are good places to go and look just to start to see uh, where some of these kayak launch spots are. What my go-to is, is Google Earth. Now there's two forms of Google Earth that I use. This one here is the web-based version. And come on, come on, here we go. So the web-based version and the desktop version that I'm gonna show you the desktop is able to do more more things. This is the one I use when I'm just looking to see if I could find somewhere. So like there was like kayak launch spots. Like I know this is uh, I think Seven Mile Road and Sportsman's Road here in Galveston. You can come down to the end of that and there is a kayak launch right here. Now there's no parking right here. So you have to actually park. You can see where these uh, kayak fishermen are parked here, but this is where they launch is right here at this spot. So uh, you can use, this is what I, I use. I use the, the desk, the uh, internet version, the web version when I'm just scouting and looking around and uh, trying to find some place. It's like here, Eckert Bayou. I know I've used this this uh, launch site here before. And when you zoom in, you can see, obviously, that there's people that are parking there and kayak fishing out of there. So, um, other things that you can do on the on the web version, you've got the measure the the measure where you can measure distance and so forth. Uh, and but you can do all that on the desktop version too. So let's close this out and let's open up. Google Earth Pro on desktop. This is the one that I use most of the time because it allows me to, couple, to do a couple other different things uh, here. And we'll get it zoomed in. What we're gonna do, get the United States set up right. All right. So first thing it allows me to do is to put markers out. And so I can, I can mark kayak spots, kayak launch spots and that kind of thing. The, the thing I really like about this when I'm scouting a place, see the little time clock right here? So that allows us to go back in history and look at satellite photos that were taken in the past. Uh, and some of these come in really good when it comes to scouting and figuring out where you want to go and how the, the lay of the land. So uh, if I click on this, I know that November... 2011 is a good picture for this. So I'll go back. So I had this little bayou that I was looking at here, Swan Lake Boat Ramp. We'll go up. 
And I fished this place here a couple times. Oh yeah. So you can see here the tide is out. And you can see where the main channel that goes into this bayou. You can see all the oyster where the oyster beds are. So you know that coming in, you have to stay to the right. Then you got to cross over here, go to the left. And it just gives you a really good, this historical picture gives you a really good look at what it looked like when that tide was out. And you can go and look, you know, at any other places that you, that you like to fish. So we fished uh, Salt Lake here the other day. And looking here, I can see that there's oyster. See this black stuff here? That's all oyster. Bunch of oyster beds down here. So, uh, you know, if you want to fish oyster, you know, it shows you here in this whole salt lake. That's, you know, there's a little, there's a little bit over here, but there's, a, there's quite a bit over here on this, uh, Eastern shoreline. So that's where I would go if I was, that's where, and that's actually where I caught some fish. The other day it was over here on Oyster. So uh, that historic view uh, is really, really uh, important. Of course, I can still measure here. So I wanted to, let's just measure a line. And I, we don't need it in centimeters. Let's do it in miles. So if I'm going from the boat launch here at Salt Lake, and I want to go all the way across to this Oyster, it tells me that's a mile and a quarter all the way across there so it gives you an idea about how far you're going to have to paddle so that's why i like that measuring app on there too but the the time clock uh part of it is uh is huge so uh we have a trip coming up to copano bay so let's slide down here to copano bay and let's look for some kayak launch points so we know Let's uh, flip back up here and let's go to the, since Taylor, uh, the telltale signs is north of Sargent. That doesn't do us any good. We'll get rid of that. So let's look at this one. So, okay. So I know we're staying here on Copano Bay. So I'm going to look at some of the places around there. So. I know that this is Goose Island State Park, and I know that's one of the places that we want to go fish. So let's flip back to over here, Goose Island, and there we go. So I, I'm able to look at Goose Island, see the state park all up here. Ooh, look, there's some canals and stuff to fish over here. Um, so now we're looking for where can we launch a kayak? Well, I bet we can launch a kayak right there at the boat ramp, if the boat ramp is open. So I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll drop a marker, we'll change the marker color to blue. We'll drag it and put it right there. Okay, and we'll change the name of this to Goose Island. Island boat ramp. Done. So I've got that one marked. But we come back here and look out of here. It looks like some parking here. Now I'm betting that we could probably launch a kayak over here, but it's probably one we're gonna to need to go look at. So We'll just drop an entitled one there. So, so there's a couple of Goose Island that allows us, you know, and then you know, come back over here to the measure app, and we still got it in miles, and say, okay, how far is it across over here to the East Pocket? Yep, yeah, it's a little over a mile back over here to East Pocket, but that's, you know, the wind's not too bad, that's doable. So, where else can we launch a kayak? So kind of go along through here and look. Let's go back to the Go Paddling app. Ah, so it's showing that there's a point right here that maybe we can launch a kayak. So let's see what that looks like on 
cooler. Hmm. Ah, here it is, right here. Boat ramp. Little uh, little boat ramp there. So, same thing. Would drop me a marker right there, so I can come back and look at it. And then there was another one. A little further up, right up here on 12th Street. So let's see what that one looks like. So, hmm, that could be a spot. Let's go back to the Go Paddling app and look at it again. Hmm, maybe it's further up the road. It's up past the bend here. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like a nice beachy area. Drop us a so our plan when we go to Copano Bay is to fish, you know, fish a spot in the morning and then fish another spot in the afternoon. So we were talking about uh oyster. So down here, this is not oyster, it's grass. So uh just no what you're looking at when you're looking at the map if you're looking at grass or you're looking at oyster so there gives us some good spots there um, I know this is the Aransas Wildlife National uh, Refuge I was looking at it the other day and let's see it seemed to me that somewhere out here Hmm. Not exactly sure what this is. Doesn't look like a boat ramp, but it does look like there's something there where you could launch. Again, you got to wonder if you know, do you have you have access to these. Uh, but that's that's interesting. So. Uh, If the wildlife refuge is open, we might go check that out. There was another one that I was looking at. And I don't remember where it was. So anyway, let's go back to the Go Paddling app. In the Go Paddling app, like I said, it gives you really good uh, ideas on where to look. So another place that I was looking uh, this is hol the Holiday Beach area. So we zoom out and scoot over. Where are we at? Here we are. So I was looking at this because you see all these little, these little back bays here and grass and stuff. And then you can go back up into here. So they're saying... There's a launch and there's a boat ramp right there. So we're gonna drop another pin. And so you see how this goes. You, know, you just start scrolling around and looking and seeing what you can find. Now, how far is it? Let's go the other way from here to here. Oh, three miles. But we can come up there and fish and uh, you know we can fish our way. You can come out here, fish the docks if you want to. Come around the point and then start fishing our way around that. So that's a that's probably a really nice spot that we're going to try. Another spot that I was looking at was was this it? Yeah, there's an old bridge that goes across here on Copano Bay here at Port Bay and it allows you, you know, some access to go back this other way. So, and I know people have been, they've been kayak launching there. So we're going to drop us a, a pin and put it right there. So you can get an idea and you can do this wherever, whether you're, wherever you're fishing, go along here and look in a lot of places, wherever there's a road that crosses over, there's usually somewhere along here that I can launch a kayak. 
Okay. Now, to give you an idea, sometimes you need, you know, to get a better look at it. This is the street view if you hadn't seen it. So street view where that blue line is. So let's zoom in here and see exactly what it looks like at street view. So let's spin around here. Oh yeah. So public access. Boom. There you go. So uh, we'll exit street view. Go back, put that back to the north. And zoom here. So bam. So yeah, here's another great place that we can launch us a kayak from. And that will allow us to get back up further back up in here you know, if we want to fish this. Uh, oh, well look we we'll just kinda of work our way around Copano Bay right quick. And yeah. Another interesting looking spot. Now, there's nothing that beats eyes on the actual target when you get there. So you got to get there and look at it. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, what was the other? What did the other side look like? It looked like oh, there's actually actually a boat ramp there. But being kayakers, we don't necessarily have to use a boat ramp. So. There we go. So there's just a couple spots around Copano Bay that we've already kind of looked at. Um, there's places out here at Rockport. Now there's a spot. Oh, come on, let's go back to the north. I just, my OCD is kicking in. So let's roll up here. Yes, this flats. I think, yeah. Is that it? Mm, no, I didn't look on what I was looking for. So let's go back here. Oh, dang it. Dang, scrolls different. And. That's the one I was looking for. Paul Palm Harmer RV. So let's go back. That's got to be it. Yep, yeah, this is Palm Harbor RV. Of course, the street view won't work here. But I'm thinking it's right here in that corner. Again, another place you got to go check it out. So another spot I do know about, though, is right down here on the other side of Port A. Spots right here at the end of this little cul-de-sac you can put in. Right there. And then you paddle your way back out here. It leads you out here and you're able to go out here and fish out here on the flats. So, uh, there you go. That's how I use Google Earth uh, to find kayak launch sites. Um, I said, we've got a trip planned in Copano, and I know there's no, there's more sites around here to launch from. I just didn't mark yet. So uh, just gives you an idea. I hope this gives you an idea of uh, how you can go out there and find those launch sites that are, you know, if they have your boat ramp closed that you usually launch from, you know, go up here and start digging around and start looking. You know, this is the Galveston Freeport area. You know, start looking around for other places that you can launch. Like I said, this, this Eckert Bayou is a good one. Um, State Park is a good place to launch. And uh, some of these other, these other spots here are excellent places to uh, put that kayak in the water. I hope this helped you. Yeah. 
if you would go ahead and click subscribe please subscribe to our, our salty yak youtube channel and uh, we appreciate y'all watching we'll talk to y'all later